Howdy, howdy, folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again. Welcome back to Wreckfest. It is time for uh, some more uh, dirt, crazy, crashing and bashing, racing, and demolition derby. Now, you might be saying, what in the world did you do to the Mustang? Well, guess what? This is the new Mustang. Uh, I, I did some work on it, so it's no longer going to be black and teal. It's now red and black. Uh, we got some new fenders on there. We got a new grill. Um, you know, we did some work to it, did some work to it, got some new wheels on it. So it's much more of a off-road type of Mustang now. Not so much a, you know, streamlined one. I might put a hood on there, though. I, I think I'm going to go put a hood on it. Um, so if you look at the hood, it's already got some, some cutouts on it. Let's see. If you go to the hood, the stock one already has some cutouts, so this one wouldn't be that much more. I like having the hood pins. I just, I don't know, it looks aggressive. Because, like... I would prefer to have the hood all one thing, but it's already got cutouts on it. So I'm thinking we could do... Let's see, what's the difference between this one? So we could put that little that little bump there. I don't know. Do we want to do the bump there? I don't know. What do y'all what do y'all think? Do, do we want to do the bump one there, or do we just want to leave it just flat? I like the hood pins. I don't know why. I just like the way those hood pins look. I'm going to go with this. So we're going to go ahead and put that hood on there. Uh, so that will give it a little bit more of a aggressive uh, styling. But um, it's time to go racing. So right now, we're trying to get to level 23. That way, we can get a engine upgrade for the Mustang that will allow us to run B-Class uh, in this Mustang. So um, let's see. We're in the Challenger Series. Um, let's see. What we what do we want to do today? So we need to achieve what? Um... Just about 300 and like 70 more points to unlock the next tier events. So let's see what we could run. We could run the Banger Bash or Brawl, whatever it's called. Uh, Banger Racing. That's the only one we can run is this. Because this is going to require a... Uh, what, what kind of car is it going to require? Let's see. Oh, so we have to get a Killer B to run that. And we're going to have to... Oof. That's not good because... if. If we get 200 points from this, what will we need from this? We'll need a B-class car. So what that tells me is that we're going to have to redo... We're going to have to redo the Demolition Racing mid-size series, right? Because if we win this and get 200 points, that would put us at 636. Well, we still need about 170 more points to unlock the next set of events. We don't have enough money to get the Killer B, and we don't have enough money to get a B-class European car. So that'd be our only choice. But let's go ahead and get the banger race done. Uh, unfortunately, looks like we're not going to be able to um, run the Mustang. We're going to have to run the, the Firefly, this old hunk of junk. So, uh, ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This track looks different. Whoa. This should be exciting. I don't remember this racetrack uh, being uh, the normal stock car track. This looks like a European uh, stock car track. Ooh, we got heat racing, y'all. Let's go, man. Let's go. Holy cow, 24 cars. I think it's like half of the field advances, so this is going to be exciting. So look at these little cheap little European cars so out here are digging and scratching. Oh, my Jesus. They're already wrecking like crazy. So it's a three lap mad dash, but this is a, a heat race. There's, it's like a tournament bracket, so we gotta survive. Oh God, we're getting hit everywhere. Oh boy, we're getting hit everywhere, so gotta keep digging, gotta keep digging. Oh, Nelly. Holy cow, man, this is, this is insane. Going underneath the, what is that, number 800? Almost looks like Matt Crafton's number font there, honestly. 12th place. So I think Gravedigger there is going to be the last car uh, advancing. So let's go ahead and try to sail it on in there. Not enough. Oh, Nelly. This little, this little hunk of junk car. Oh my god. He got wrecking everywhere right now. Fine. He's going to bump us. Just don't get turned around. Door slam him against the wall. Uh-oh. We're going to advance. Awesome. So we moved on to the next round with a finish position of 10th. Oh boy. Now, is it going to be good enough to make it into the next round? I don't know, guys. I don't know. Alright, it's time for the semi-final top 12 advance. So, you can definitely tell by the daylight. A little bit faster, sportier cars. Semi-finals here. So, if you, get, if you make the top 12 here, you're going to be racing for the finale. 
And that's pretty much when it's just, you know, everyone's going for the paycheck at that point. But look at the shot up the inside lane. Now we're creeping on a top five. Holy cow, the little, this little 66 cars hot dogging around here, I'll tell you that. Bunch of shrapnel flies everywhere. Good thing they got a catch fence around here. Ooh, bump there. Coming to the start finish line. We have plenty of positions to give up, so I'm not too worried about that. Fifth. So coming to the start finish line. We're going to finish fifth with a top five, and we're going to move on to the finale. It's pretty good, I might say. So, look, we're starting up ninth, which is pretty good, but we've got a six lap mad dash. We tried a, a different setup to see if maybe it would give our car a little bit more speed. Uh, can we potentially try to win this? Oh, Nelly, up the middle. Running into that max acceleration setup. 77 miles an hour peaking. Definitely not the fastest car. Uh oh. Yeah, the acceleration's going to probably affect us. We're running a high RPM around the track, but it's just. You can tell, yeah, definitely not the smartest decision to run that. I'm just hoping these cats up here wreck. That's what I'm hoping for. Because we're just peaking at 77 miles per, hour, miles per hour right now. And that's that's not good, folks. These cats over here, are, they're getting kind of dicey. This thing, is, it's it's just peaking out. It has no more speed, man. It's, it's topping out at 77. It has nothing left to give. And that's severely limiting. Tell you what, what we're going to do, we're going to restart it, right? We're going to restart it. We're, let's fix the tune. So we're going to go back to, let's see, we're going to run uh, the normal uh, acceleration joint that we like to run. We're going to run that. Uh, we maintain second place here. we got a cat running the outside lane back there. Ooh, almost cut the corner. Wait, what are we doing? Oh, wait. Is this for the first race? Uh-oh. Don't tell me. Oh, no. Did we just restart the entire bracket? Are you kidding me? Aw, oh, dang it. I, I just realized that, too. I thought when it says restart, that you could just restart the final race. See, they must have changed that, because before, you could just restart for that said race. Oh, wait, no? What? What? The final race was six laps. Why was it only three? That has to be a glitch, or either I'm clueless. But hey, we got second place. Hot dog. 180 points out of 200. Not exactly what I was looking for, but hey, it's better than nothing. So I, I wish we could go run this, but we need that stupid B-class car. Um, I don't want to have to go back to the, that mid mid-size uh, race. Let's let's take a look at the shop right now. Let's see what we can afford and see if we can try to think of something. Let's see what do we got. We need to get a C-class or no B-class European car. That's what we need, B-Class. So, what is the cheapest B-Class car you can get? Let's see. It looks like the Dominator, maybe? Okay, so it's 13... Oh, my God, 13,000. That's ridiculous. Uh, there ain't no way we can get that car. Whew, that is a lot of credits, I might add. Um, we're still, what, level 20? We need to be level 23 to be able to unlock the, uh, the new engine, so... Kind of stuck in that department there. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Eek, 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 eek. Well, looks like we're gonna have to uh, redo this one. Yes, we'll have to redo this one. But let's see, we could. We'll have to run Rocket. Oof. Don't have really a choice. I'm gonna tell you what. If we're going to race the midsize uh, Massacre event, we're going to have to uh, definitely upgrade the car. We don't have a choice, man, because there's no way we're going to be able to uh, win that event with the car we have. We have to invest more into upgrading it. Let's see. That would give us better acceleration. It's expensive, but you got to get your car as fast as possible. So now it's a 160... And that's the last upgrade we could afford. So now it's a C-Class uh, 160. So that's pretty good. But um, we could still... Let's see. That, that's upgraded max. So we could still get the um, the camshaft and I think the pistons. Yeah, we could still get both of those. So that's two upgrades there we could still get. Um, we're probably just going to have to just run it 
and just keep restarting the races until we have one go our way. That's the only way we're going to be able to advance because we still need, let's see, how Let's see, how many points do we need to advance? Let's see, 800. Okay, so we're going to need, if we win this event, we get 400 points, we move on. So that's basically what we have to do. We have to win this event. So each race we're going to have to win, unfortunately, but I think we can do it. Let's go. All right, folks, here we are back at Sandstone Raceway. Oh, boy. So we got the Mustang, it's it's bumped up to a 160, so I'm hoping this will be better though. We're gonna have to try something to be able to get this car a little faster, so... Eek. Let's try the standard gear ratio, let's see if that would help, because there's gonna be a lot of like... I don't know, do we want to go with this ratio, or... I don't know. Let's try the standard ratio, let's see how it works. Um, we're gonna need soft suspension, definitely. Uh, differential, I ain't worried about that. Let's go. Three laps, and we're going to have to win the entire event. Like, we don't have a choice. We're going to have to win the entire event. Um, I mean, it's either we win this event, or we're going to have to go and um, win a bunch of races, level up to level 23, buy the B-Class engine, then come back and try to win... Uh, this, these races, or we go and we we buy the beat class um, European car, run that event. So I mean, I I don't know. Whatever is the most efficient way, that's what I'm going for. Just need one more position, man. I don't think we're able to get it either. Nope, no run, not the block. We'll get si sixth place here. That's it. And buy the uh, air filter there. Is there anything else we can buy that's cheap for the car? Nothing. 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 All right, here we go. Back to uh, Big Valley Speedway. Now this is just the uh, traditional stock car oval. Um, we do got the Mustang though. We got the horsepower. We got that new air filter on board, so we'll be have a little bit more speed. But this one's going to really be about just luck. I mean, if you, if you don't get through the first corner perfect and you don't gain a tremendous amount of position, well, you can go ahead and forget it. Uh, it's that yellow car that I'm worried about because that thing's going to be fast. Boom, door slam. Ooh, big hit there. Now i got to run down this yellow cat. Yeah, I'll tell you what, if I can catch to his bumper, I'll, I'll spin him out. But those things are just so fast, dude. And uh, thanks, little white car. Thank you. You are totally helping. Awesome. We gotta restart the race. Cool deal. Cool deal. Okay, so the yellow car is gonna be a problem, and that blue car in the back is gonna be a problem. So if we get our opportunity, we need to spin out the yellow car because he's gonna be faster than everyone. So that's pretty much my uh, thinking here. So if I can get up right here, I'm gonna go ahead, take him out. Or the car could just be so heavy that I can't even spin them out and I actually wreck myself. Or the blue car. There we go. But if we can hold on to a top five at the, uh, the other off-road circuit and we can win the other Roval, or not, not Roval, the other Oval race, we might be able to get a top finish. I think if we can finish first or second, we'll be okay. If I remember, it said we had, what, we needed 380 points, something like that. I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, but right now, just gotta keep digging, man. Just gotta keep digging. Final lap. Don't do anything stupid. Just mind your P's and Q's. Dodge the jalopies that are destroying the outside retaining wall. And that is a W. Wow, it's been a while since we've won something. Holy cow. Awesome. So uh, somehow we were able to win that. Hot dog. And we can uh, go ahead and upgrade the Mustang again. Alright, folks. Here we go. Back to uh, Boulder Bank Circuit. Now, this is uh, the off-road race of uh, the second off-road race. So, got the dudes over there chilling in the deer stand. So, uh, 72 gravel, 28% tarmac. Um, let see. Soft suspension. Yeah, we'll do that. It's just going to take luck. That's, that's truly what it's going to take. It's just going to take a lot of luck. Um, once again, we need to be top five. We have like a 20-point lead or so. So if we win the oval, the, the, 
the last race, that would give us probably, you know, a few points over these cats. Or we could just fly straight into the spectators. That is, that is always a plausible event, uh, totally. Uh, don't bump me, don't bump me, don't bump me. Oh god, there's, a, there's trees there, there is trees, there are squirrels in the trees. There's squirrels in the trees, my dude. Oh, coming up to the final lap here. We got a pack of cars behind us. It looks like Talladega. Oh, we got our, already got a car going around. Shades of uh, Bobby Labonte at the uh, 2001 EA Sports 500. Oh, boy. Now, can we hold off this fourth place position? Or we got a car wrecked out there on the left on the mini map. That's. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> We're running two laps in a race and already wrecked out. Like, holy cow. Got some engine damage. Oh, Jesus. The right front's severely damaged. There's Joe Schmo in a yellow school bus. Oh, God. Turn, 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 turn. Floor it. Oof. Get shrecked. Use him as a glancing board. Okay, I can hold off to sixth place. I, I can live with that. I can live with sixth place. I can do that. There we go. Sixth place. I'll take it, man. We almost got dumped like three times on that final lap. I'll take it, man. I will take it. There we go. 1,600 again. Awesome. And a bunch of XP. There we go. Whew. All right. So the, uh, the updated point standings. Well, unfortunately, the guy who just won that race, uh, Ugly Kid, that dude... He's got a first place, 18th place in our first place. So the only way we're going to win this championship, it really doesn't matter where we finish. It really matters where this dude finishes. So he's driving uh, the, the Gremlin. So if we wreck him out, we get a good finish. We'll win the title. But if we don't, he's going to win it. He's got a 15-point lead. We're, we got, what, 50-something points over Lucky 99. So we're good. We just got we got to take out. Uh, the ugly kid dude. So that's what we're going to be looking for. Looking for his car. Take him out of the contention. He gets a bad finish. Uh, we'll be able to win this championship. Alright folks. It is time once again for the uh, the figure 8 track. I thought it was just the oval. No, it's the figure 8. So it's a bootleg oval. This is going to be interesting. So once again, we have to take out the guy who started up front. We have to take him out. Um, if he wins the race, he gets a top 10, anything like that, he's going to get the championship. So we got to go up there and spin out whoever um, the leader is, the ugly kid dude. Got to figure out which car he's in. There he is. He's in that black and white car right there. So that's the target. Boom! Take him out. All right. So now he's kind of in the back of the pack. Can't do nothing about it now. Let's just try to fight our way up through the pack and try to get ourselves a good finish. Rip. Right now we're running fourth. Not exactly where I want to be, but uh, we got to find a way to uh, find that one dude. I don't know where he's at. Got to find uh, what's his face and uh, take him out. Oh dang it! Come on, car, please. Thank you. Ugh, oh, we're losing way too many positions. Man, these freaking bozos, man! They're not even contention for the title. And they're running fast. Got some hot rods out here. Uh, let's get a uh, update on where everyone's at. So, Ugly Kid's in 12th. He's in 12th place. You know what? Do I want to risk that? Do I want to risk that? I don't know. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna play the gamble. I'm gonna play the gamble. I don't know how many uh, points each position gains, but I'm gonna play the gamble and hope that he doesn't finish inside the top 10. If he finishes in the top 10, you're gonna have a problem. But if he doesn't, then we're good. I want to focus on trying to finish this race in first place. That is my goal. If he gets a top 10, then we'll have to restart. Oh, dang it, man. I was trying to dodge that car. Now we're up to second. The leader gets taken out. It's ours to take. But again, we need to check to see where that bozo is. Or we could just uh, get destroyed and lose third and fourth. Try to take it back. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Alright, before we come to the line, let's get an update where everyone's at. Okay, he's in 15th. We're good. Third place, I will take it. And that should be the championship right there. 
Uh, let's see, does it show leaderboard? Let's see, nope, that's just that. Okay, well, hopefully we won the championship. If not, oh well. Definitely the upgrades of the car helped, man. Like, tremendously. And look at that, boom. Ton of XP and uh, it should be level 22. Yep. Yeah. So we're getting closer to that level 23, and then we'll be able to get the new uh, engine upgrade. Well, we won the event, but we only got 260 points. Are you kidding me? Well, that means we still need 60 more points, so poop. Well, it looks like, unfortunately, the only way we're going to be able to move on is we're going to have to uh, go run uh, some events to basically get... Uh, the demolition racing car. What we're gonna probably have to do is we're gonna have to buy a B class, um, whatever. And uh, I don't know. Let's see. If we would, if we were to get the um, to level twenty three, right? And we were to buy the upgrade for our European car, right? That would allow us to race in the Euro Trash six time event uh, race event series. That's what I'm thinking. Um, that's going to be the only way we're going to be able to uh, move on. We need 60 points. We can't get any points there. Uh, we tried that. We can only get 20 points there. So, yeah, that's going to be the only way we're going to be able to move on. So, what I'm going to do is... Let's see. Let's go, let's, let's go do some Demolition Derby. Why not? Let's let's just go get some, uh, some cash. Let's go have some fun. Let's go get some cash uh, and some XP. And then uh, we'll be able to uh, upgrade and be able to, uh, you know, get that new car. Upgrade, of course. Uh, so that's six races. That's going to be fun. That's going to be a lot of fun having uh, six races. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and redo the Demolition Derby. Let's just try to get some cash from it and some XP. Let's go. These cats are everywhere, man. Uh-oh, uh -oh, station wagon. Yep, station wagons always will win. Boom, that dude's wrecked. Come on, man. This this dude got like one point left. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Dang it. I got the brakes completely locked up right now. I'm gonna spin back around. Come on, there we go. Okay, there we go. Oh, critical damage, dude. Oh, and he wrecked himself. Nice. Nice. So, we got that one pretty easily. Let's see how much... So, we got 1,100 from that. How much XP did we get? 7,000 XP. Holy Jesus. Wow. That's that's freaking good. That's freaking good. Well, that was uh, pretty easy. We went ahead and got that done. And uh, we, still, we still need a lot more XP to rank up to level 23. But, um... That's going to be all for this episode, guys. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss any of my new content. Really appreciate all those who tune in to Wreckfest on Diecast Buffet. I have I have a ton of fun recording these videos, honestly. It's kind of like a nice relaxer, uh, different from the NASCAR norm. But uh, thank you all so much for watching, guys. Hope you're having a great one. And Diecast Buffet, signing off.